thank you one back to the Super Mario Galaxy in the last part. We did this. Yes, we did that. We phased off the terrorists. We did a Hungry Luma mission. We beat Bowser and we started the fountain, which in Japanese is literally the bathroom. Oh, and CS would work this game. In this part, we're going to continue more of the bathroom, as it will now be called, because I like calling things by their Japanese names sometimes, sort of not real. But so this one's actually hilarious and funny. I don't know why they changed the fountain. It's actually, well, it's not really bad for me, but still. But we did Rolling Ring Galaxy, so let's go do Space Jump. Space Jump is a really fun galaxy. Space Jump Galaxy Full Stop. Now I'm back from home when no one's at the house, which means I can be as loud and obnoxious as I want and no one will give a darn! I love it so much! Yes! Now, this level has quite a few star bits in it, and I feel like getting star bits. Why? Because I love star bits, and star bits loves me. It's not often everyone leaves the house, so I can really take advantage of when it happens. Let's see how many stars I can do in this video. As the more stars, the better. Speaking of stars, we got stars, so we can go into the star to get more stars. Yes! Ah, I think I just proved my point when I made the other day. Midday is the peak of my day. I, can, I really should record videos at 4 in the afternoon. I don't know how some people record in the night, to be honest. It doesn't seem that much dedication. It, it seems difficult. But this isn't a hard mission. I can, let's see if I can do this with Brad, because there's one guy who I want to destroy first. They may know they're at the top of this planet. Well, if you want to know a secret, something a lot of people don't know about. If you actually turn around and start, there's a whole underside to this planet. Along with three coins, and a bunch of Star Wars for you to collect as a result of these three turns. I there's also a lot more enemies, but it's a nice little secret. Let's see if I can actually get Star Wars right. These are green. I don't think it's blue, but I think it's purple. Too, so. Get it. Oh, uh, where's the captain? But the first high trouble again, eh? Captain, how can you? Where my glasses go? Oh yeah, there's yellow thing. Like, so I say green because that's what I was born doing. Everyone knows that green toad is the most important of the toad. Not because if any of you were around at my early channel and didn't pick up on this, green toad is actually one of my friends. He's pretty awesome. But, nah. Did I ever talk about the Wii U? I'm not sure I did. Well, I have the Wii U. I'm not playing this on Wii U, though. I'm playing this on my good old fashioned Wii U. I never use reverse compatibility. I'll use reverse console, but I'll never use reverse compatibility. I think reverse compatibility is quite stupid and dumb. But this is a very interesting section that a lot of people hate. I think these people are crazy because it's just, it's not that hard. It's just follow the path and stuff appears. You see, where I got the star. Star! Yeah. 
I love having energy. I love recording in the afternoon. It's just, it's, it's like I'm on natural sugar high. Just because, this is, midday is my peak. If you want to have me have energy, just in the middle of the day. Because that's when I'm all at it. Yeah. Evening, I am get quieter because the day's progressive. And morning, it's just... But, you got a star! Oh, we got Rose in the face. Ooh, pranks are common. Ray train pressing the more and more. Um, instead of talking to the loom about pranks are common in the form of hidden mission. When a comet appears in orbit, you can go and do said pranks are common. I don't know why they're called pranks are common, but the way they work is they mess with the galaxy's normal way of working. The first type of com and I'll be explaining the comments as we encounter them. The first type of combo we encounter is a speedy comet. Speedy comet is basically time travel. They're on clock, and that's it. There's no other comet associated with it. Speedy comet is also the most common because you don't have to create special missions, you just look awesome on a mission. And the clock usually isn't that big of a deal. Just because the missions usually are pretty easy to beat in the time They're very generous in the beginning of the game, and they still stay generous. But as you get later in the game, speedy comms become less frequent. Where'd I go up there? I need to go this way. But this is all about doing missions quickly. Now these are that interesting. But I will keep these on camera with the comm today because I have energy today, but if it reaches the point in which just when something becomes repetitive, I'm getting stuff to talk about, there's a chance the counter might be can't post. You know me, I'm not as happy as those counters I have a live counter. Why? Because when I'm playing a game, I have energy and I can think of stuff because I'm playing the game without thinking about it. It's a crazy thought, but it does make sense if you do the comic. But they didn't actually re-render anything, but you might be noticing the mission looks darker. The galaxy gets a tip based on the color of whatever comp you're doing, and as they effect to show you that you're not confident. Like you can't tell from the clock at the bottom of the screen. But this is a nice little shortcut they don't teach you. You know, it's not a bad thing. Let's go grab ourselves a crab top. I like crab top. Crab on! Yeah! That would be a horrible name for a kid. Crab on! Here. Nah. I don't know why I'm so hyper today. Or at least hyper my talking. I kind of like it because I don't have to think about what I'm saying. And when you don't have to think about what you're saying, you can focus on other stuff, like what's for dinner. But we had, to, but we had four minutes to do the mission. It's going to be done in done two thirty. I was trying to do the mission as quick as possible, but it doesn't seem like I could do it in half the time I'm going to do. Oh well. Also, for those of you who play these games, if you want to submit challenges for me to do during the videos, you know that I might just do it. And if I accept your challenge, you get a free shout out. And if I accept your challenge and, and give up on it, well, then I don't know. Well, you'll still get a shout out, but it will be a bigger shout out. I'll actually do what I did back in Pixel Super shout out. We'll have it at the end of the video. But instead, I'll just mention your name during the video and put your link in the description. Which I'll do anyway, but you'll get more recognition the other way. Let's see if you can... Actually, no. If you submit a challenge, you get a shout-out. If I use it, that is. But... You got a star!
But now... I guess? Let's go back to Space Jump. So, back into Space Jump we go. You know what's really fun? Watching yourself beat a mission backwards. That's entertaining. Some of the missions backwards are still in. And guess what? We're fighting a ball. Don't worry, it's not like the ball is so hard you can just die a million times. And anyways, uh, right here, the game has a tutorial something that you should probably already know, which is, you can spin in midair. I don't know. I don't know if I'm happy that those PCs are bad. It doesn't seem overly necessary. But now all the puzzles here are based around just spin! You know, the fact that this boss is here to make up to say a lot about the boss that shows up. Oh, so what do you got to say? Okay, <laughs> with a chest. Nah. It's just with a chest. Okay. What do you got to say? Green code! Oh, that's very nice. But look, there's the ball. You see the glow. Ah, uh, this is where the secret is. You can actually go inside the ship. So we got the treasure, so why it takes some time to kill the boss? Because there's a power star then. And power stars are awesome. Right here we have a red shell, which might not seem useful, but red shells, like a taking a place marker, red shells are homies. They're not that homies apparently, but still they are homies. They also use like some faster in water and purple, though. What do you got to do? Let's see what's in this box. Probably health extension. Whoa! I thought I was going to speed run, but instead I broke the physics extension. Um, magic of editing! See if I can do this again. If you're a little off, the red shell will actually home in a little bit. It's a nice little touch. I really like it. It's more useful when you have to fire from under water, but here it is. 
the ball store. Now, do we could use this monster? Classy game. Very classy. But no, you don't actually have to. Doors are for losers anyway. What's this? Meet Camilla with awesome boss music. Surprise, surprise! I like the music in this game. But, Camilla is actually one of my favorite bosses. Fight it! The president's other that she has awesome music. I don't know, I just really always enjoy the fight with her. Although I might, although I have to say this, I think that this her second appearance might actually be easy. All you gotta do is hit her with chill, to kill her. And then she's all like. Burr. And she just. This is her second form of all the changes. But it's well worth it. I think this case might be her hardest to hit because. Just because she moves so much. But she's dead. That wasn't as hard at all, but I don't mind because it was kind of fun. Looks like we gave you four stars this video. Unless this next one goes by so quickly, I don't know what hit it. You got the star! I discovered a new galaxy! I love new galaxies! Ooh, enemy base! You know, I was going to just do the last mission of space jump, but why not go and tackle an enemy base? This is we are, this is we can't lock next still. Let's go! And let's shoot buttons in the eye! 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 Yeah! Diamond in the eyeball! Yeah! He saw me coming! Bowser Star reacted to the fiery stronghold! Again, this is why I record a Ooh! My nostalgia shades are on. For those of you who aren't aware, this is the Bowser level theme from Super Mario 64. Yeah, I guess I should give my policy a spoiler. If I'm talking about a game outside of a video, I, I consider it a talking about a game, a game that I'm not making like, a video about. Yeah. My, my policy on what I consider a spoiler is actually very simple. If it's in the last stretch of the game, it's a spoiler. Okay. But you can find it within the first... Like, like the first three quarters of the game, it's not a spoiler. Unless it's like a really big story heavy game, but like... I think if they're missing that music spoiler. I mean, you find that within the first eight stars of the game. So it's not a spoiler. Now... Oh, so there's Bowser's face. Bowser's trying to give you a life turn, even though you don't really need it. It's still nice to have. It's been dying because you're too stubborn to get the life turn. Ugh. I just want to hit someone. I'm not out of work. Bowser and the Star Reactor. Now we know why it's called the Star Reactor. I think it's called the Star Reactor. Alright, so just for just heads up. Anytime he says stomp into space bit, it means that's the last time for the fight. So quick test team about Bowser fight. Or do they have he says stomp? Just 
pet peeve. This fight is the same fight three times in a row, just a little harder each time. I like the sense of a growing boss, but the difficulty spike is not that severe. He's still being the same way, he doesn't have enough to attack to change things up. I don't feel like any of the Bowser fights are that hard. I feel like there are a lot of ball fights in the game that are a lot easier than the Bowser fights. And I personally have a problem with that. Does so that sound like from liking this game? No! Ooh, Bowser doesn't like a bad mouth. But this is where all Bowser fights take place. And it's actually very simple. Dragon smash a blue spray and then spin attack. When he's over on his back, just spin attack again. And your goal, and this, that's all there is for the fight, is just making health cell trade work. Now, if you wait about here, he will come back around to the top spot. You don't want to miss on the first battle of the fight, so let's just... Now, the nice thing is, you can just stay here if you want. Here it comes. And there it goes. Now he's in crazy mode. And that's great for Bowser King. I'm actually going to give him the smash very quickly. Give him some damage. I want money. Also, if Bowser hits you, he will start his attack pattern over again. Right here. So, if you keep being hit by him, you're not going to be defeating him for a while. And here he comes. For the sake of the universe, for the sake of our friendship, for the sake of this video, this is over! Because we're over 20 minutes. What? How? Now, I'm like giving him the most monotone voice off. I think it'd be funny. What? How? Foolish Mario. My plan is too far along now. Do you really think you can stop me? Wah-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
Bowser, get out of here. But, as I like to say, like in every Grand Star, which we won't actually move on to the next zone here, I just felt like collecting it. Bowser's easy as he sees, we are free because I got the Grand Star! And now we got the green tent, or the green beacon, whatever you want to call it. But we lit up the entire other half of the beacon. I mean, observatory. Same difference. And we opened up the kitchen. The kitchen is probably my least favorite dome in the game. So new galaxy. New galaxy in the kitchen. I guess that's where Rosalina likes to hang out. I'm sorry, that was too easy. The plot details, we don't care about them. No, not plot details! No one cares about plot details! I want to enjoy going to the library. But I will see you guys next time for Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy! Remember, post members, leave a positive or a negative comment in the box below. If you enjoy this video, please like. If you don't enjoy this video, well, don't just like. It's mean. It's mean person. But if you enjoy the video, videos, or just have anything to say, please voice your opinion in the comment section below. I remember to post challenges you like me to do during this playthrough. I will see you guys, uh, whenever the next video goes up. I don't know, I might miss another upload. I have a busy life. Sue me. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.